Hi LEGO fans! One of my favourite non-licensed themes from LEGO is LEGO Creator 3-in-1. And in particular, I really like the modular builds. These are so versatile and really work well in a LEGO City setup. Previous examples include the modular skate house and the modular winter vacation set. This set is brand new for June 2018 and today I'm going to be unboxing, speed building and reviewing Set number 31077, Modular Suite Surprises from LEGO Creator 3-in-1. The 396-piece part count includes three minifigures. We've got this popsicle-loving baker and a boy and girl minifigure. I definitely recognise some of these torso prints. It looks like we've got some really cool details in this build. There's a bay window at the front filled with tasty treats, an outdoor freezer for selling ice creams, a really cool sign featuring croissants and baked goods, We've got a gumball machine and what looks like an ATM, and a rooftop terrace to sit and enjoy those snacks. Flipping over to the back of the box enables us to take a look at the other builds that you can make from this set. All three builds use the same pieces, so you can't make all three models at the same time. If the cake shop isn't your thing, you can build this corner cafe. Or even this really cool pool house which comes with its own personal chef. Actually, that would go really nice in my LEGO city next to the beach. Although these sets are described as modular, they're not modular in the same sense as the LEGO Creator Expert modular buildings. These are modular because parts of the building, including the windows and the doors, can be moved around, reconfigured, and even swapped out with other modular buildings within the 3-in-1 Creator range. I'll show you how that works later on in the review. I'm super excited to get this built, so let's open up this box and see what we've got inside. Here's everything that came inside the box. We've got five bags of Lego, three instruction booklets, one for each of the builds, and a 16 by eight pale blue baseboard. I'm gonna go ahead and build the Lego Creator three in one modular suite surprises set. And today this is gonna be a 60 second speed build. <laughs> Here's the completed main build, this is the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Cake Shop. Clearly this is somewhere that makes LEGO cakes and not cakes out of LEGO. Build time was approximately 31 minutes and 45 seconds, but it always takes a little bit longer with these Creator 3-in-1 sets because you don't have the numbered bags. That just means there's more LEGO pieces to pick through. First impressions of the build are pretty good, it's certainly colourful, it looks a lot of fun, and I don't think it's going to look out of place in my LEGO city. Come to think of it, throw in a few more pastel pieces, a couple of mini dolls, and it wouldn't look out of place in a LEGO Friends Heart Lake City. One thing this set's not short of is cupcake elements. We've got two on either side of the main door, and there's a bunch of these in the cake display at the front of the shop. In fact, we've got a bunch of delicious looking goodies in there. Being a modular set, it's very easy to remove the window to take a closer look. With the window removed, you can take a closer look at all of the treats inside. And the display rotates so you can browse the brownies and covet the cupcakes. Nothing's free in LEGO City, so there's a convenient ATM machine so you can draw out some cash to pay for some goodies. We've also got a really cool gumball machine. It's really nice to get one of those large key elements, you just don't see those very often. Around the other side of the building we've got a small window with decorative window ledge and canopy. There's also an orange parasol that's going to come in useful very shortly. Sticking with the modular theme, the window can be removed, as can the front door. So if you decide to change things around, it's very easy to do and you can change the appearance of the cake shop very quickly. Moving around to the back of the shop, you can look inside and you can see we've got some fixtures and fittings. The other really nice thing about these modular builds is that you can lift off the roofs to let some light in. This is really good when you're filming LEGO. 
Seeing it just like this got me thinking to what it might look like with a pitched roof. I think that would look pretty good, but I digress. With light pouring in through the roof, it's easier to take a look at the stuff inside. The first thing I'm going to do is remove this freezer, which we're going to move outside. I'm also going to remove the cash register. They don't call this modular for no reason. This is a fairly simple build with a printed number pad, screen to show the price to the customer, and a lever for some reason. I'm not sure if this is to open the cash drawer or whether it's something to do with the weird orange thing next to it. I do like the inclusion of the trans orange pyramid elements, which you don't see very often. I'm presuming they're decoration for the top of the cake and the money is there to pay for it. The really nice thing about having this modular design is that you can take all of the interior furniture out of doors and set up your own pop-up shop. As it's a nice day, our shopkeeper has decided to come outside and sell popsicles. We get two of those fluorescent yellow popsicle elements, and those get kept super cold inside a freezer unit made from a mailbox placed on its back. We even have a little transparent door to keep all of that cold air in and still allow customers to see what's inside. Being a bakery, it's kind of important to have somewhere to bake all of the cakes and yummy treats. In the back of the bakery, you'll see a little oven complete with temperature control. As you might expect, this is also modular and can be removed from the build. It's a fairly deep oven with an opening blue door and sits on the same modular plate as the ATM machine, the gumball machine, and those stairs. We're gonna be exploring upstairs in just a moment. Before we do that, I wanted to show you the modular cake shop stripped bare of all its accessories. This is truly a bare bones build and you can reconfigure all of the doors and walls and floors as you like. I also thought it was interesting to see how similar this is to the modular skate house. As you can see, the basic shell of the construction is almost identical. And the really cool thing about these Lego Creator modular three in one sets is that you can interchange the parts. Here you can see I've taken the main shell of the modular skate house and now I've got a skate park cake shop. With the cake shop magically reassembled, we can explore the upper level. It's reached using a prefabricated set of stairs at the side of the building. They lead out onto a rooftop terrace where minifigures and their friends can enjoy a sweet treat in the sunshine. There's a really nice canopy made of alternating red and white slopes to provide some welcome shade. There's a small table complete with a pair of mosaic chairs and railing pieces to help prevent any unfortunate accidents. There's even a hanging basket to add some greenery to this outdoor space. But one of the coolest things about this cake shop build is that sign. It's decorated with two croissant elements and a cream topped pie. What's better than a pie? 3.142 pies. Standing way above the sign, we've got a novelty oversized cup of hot cocoa topped with cream and a pink marshmallow. It kind of makes sense that a cake shop like this would sell drinks, but we don't get any cups or glasses or anything to serve beverages from. Actually, I tell a lie, there is meant to be a single coffee cup and it goes up here. This is a really cool little set, but before we wrap up with final thoughts, let's take a quick look at those minifigures. None of these minifigures or the parts used to create them are exclusive to this set. Even so, this is a really nice trio of minifigs. You could probably call this guy a chef, a baker or a shopkeeper, but he looks great. He's wearing these kind of dark blue pants here and then the chef white torso on top. And I really like that little jaunty cravat hanging from his neck there. That looks really cool. Uh, we've got this kind of double breasted top here with some really nice printing on. And if we turn him over, just a little bit of detailing at the back there and you can see the back of the scarf. You can also see he's got no alternate expression here, but his facial expression on the front is really nice. I like that handlebar moustache. And then we've got the classic chef's hat there. Also see this same hat in the diner set, which we got earlier this year. And all round a really nice, I'm gonna call him a chef minifigure. Here's a little boy and he's a very cute minifigure. He's got these short format red legs and then this retro style Lego space top, which I've definitely seen before. Let's just take him to one side and bring in this little guy from the front of the park people pack from a few years ago. And also this adult rider from the Lego Creator roller coaster. So we've actually got quite a lot of these tops in circulation currently. I'm going to put those to one side so we can take a closer look. A little bit of detailing on the back of the torso piece, but a very cute face. I really like that. He's got freckles and everything here. Really nice kind of reddish brown haircut. And if we turn him around, he's got a... Uh, a kind of worried or I've just been found out doing something naughty expression on the back, which is very cool. I really like that. Uh, so yeah, very cute little boy minifigure. 
Here's a little girl and she looks equally as cute. I really like this hair piece here with the ponytail tied up on top of the head. And she's got these short format blue jeans on and then this really cute top here with the pale pink and darker pink stripes and the little pussycat logo. Now I have seen that before and enter another minifigure from the Outdoor Adventures People Pack. Yeah, we've seen that one before. Also, I'm getting a sense of deja vu from the face. And I'm going to bring in two minifigures. Here we are. This is, so that's the mom from the Selfie family in the Outdoor Adventures People Pack. And this is one of the riders from the Lego Creator Pirate Roller Coaster. So again, lots of reuse in this set. It's not a bad thing, and that's exactly what LEGO is designed for. Let's just take a closer look at that expression. And I've not actually looked at the back of her head yet, so maybe. Yes, we do. Oh, of course, yeah, we've got the kind of closed eye expression that the other two minifigures had. So really cool. I like the, uh, the way these elements go together, and she's a really cute little girl minifigure. So that was set number 31077, Modular Suite Surprises from LEGO Creator 3-in-1. There are of course two alternative builds, but because of time constraints I'm not going to build them for this video. Notwithstanding, those are also very nice builds. The corner cafe is laid out like a simple snack bar and would look great in any LEGO city. The pool house also looks very cool, and if I had as much money as Jang Bricks I'd probably build one of those at my house. But focusing back on the cake shop, I really love this build. For the most part, it's on an 8 stud wide base plate, which makes it perfect for slotting into a LEGO city setup. The colours are really cool, and there's some great elements included. In particular, I'm really pleased to get that key from the gumball machine, and those two trans orange pyramids. The only thing I dislike about this set is the price. Nice. At $40 for 396 pieces, the price to part ratio is pretty high. I just picked up one of the LEGO Creator modular buildings, which has six times the amount of parts for four times the price. I guess what we are getting here that adds value is three different instruction manuals with three different builds. So if you're somebody who likes building and rebuilding LEGO sets, then this has got more tangible value to you. Myself, I'm just wishing I had two more of these sets so I could build the alternative builds and have all three in my LEGO city. So would I recommend this? This? Yes, I absolutely would. It was a fun set to play with. I really like the modular elements where you can move stuff around, and there's some really cool elements included. Sure, the minifigures were hardly exclusive. I mean, we've seen all of those parts before, but they were really nice minifigures, and they go very well with this set. And when you've got really cool details like the cake display window and that gumball machine, what's not to like? I really hope you enjoyed today's LEGO Creator 3-in-1 unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like down below and if you've not already done so, subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. I release two new LEGO review videos every single week so you'll always find something new or something old to enjoy on my channel. After all that talking, I could really use a cup of tea and a slice of cake so thanks a million for joining me today, stay safe and we'll see you on the next build video. What's better than a pie? 3.142 pies!